in his season? Or canst thou guide Arcturus with his sons in the heavens? No, he couldn't. And Amos 5, 8 says, Seek him that maketh the seven stars and Orion. He said, Seek him, because he is the great creator of the earth. And turneth the shadow of death into morning, and maketh the day dark with night, uh, that calleth for the waters of the sea, and poureth them out on the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. The Lord Jesus Christ, that is. Amen. Oh, that fits so easy. <laughs> Look at the Pleiades. There they are, just like the Bible gave them. Can you? He told Job, we'll leave that for a moment there. He said, Canst thou bind the sweet influences of the Pleiades? They're sweet influences, God calls it somehow. I'll leave you up to that. He knows what he's doing in there. They're symbolic of something that the Lord has in remembrance of something sweet. But that's what it says, the sweet influences of the Pleiades, or loose the bands of the great sun, Orion, and so forth like that. So it is beautiful. So it says here, the Lord is his name. Amen. Isaiah 40 and 26, lift up your eyes on high, and behold who hath created these things uh, that you're seeing, that bringeth out their host by number, trillions, quadrillions, and trillions, and I know them all by name, the Lord says, every one of them. And yet the computers cannot keep track of them. I know them all. And I'll know the ones that are created after them and their names already before they're formed. Oh, praise God. Isn't that wonderful? See, he names them and then throws them and puts them out there. He knows what your name would be before you was here. You might have changed it five times, but he knows the name you'll wind up with. He is God. Uh, amen. You can change it a hundred, but he knows the last name before you get out of here. Then he says, I have a new name for those that love me. Isn't that wonderful? So we have it. He bringeth them out by their number. He calls them all by names by the greatness of his might, for he is strong in power. And not a one faileth, the Lord says, until I allow it to fail. Tomorrow night we'll see some of them when he begins to call them out of their orbits in there, and we'll find out what happens there. So we see with all of this beautiful, and there's a great uh, galaxy or nebula there. That's beautiful in there at the great heavens. That's probably larger, much larger than probably our own uh, solar system and galaxy here. But in all this creation of nature, we just barely touched on just a few things. How wonderful it is to know how great God is, and all of it a variety. And it goes on and on, it seems like, in the sea and under the sea, the fish and so forth, and different individual ways that he does it. It is incredible to watch the hand of the Creator. An evolutionist, he don't have a chance. Uh, an atheist, the fool has said in his heart, uh, there is no God. How many of you can say amen? He calls him a fool. God does. The thing is to believe the Lord with all of your heart. He is real. He is a design. It took infinite design to put those that we're looking at there in that kind of design. It didn't happen by chance because it's designed. It showed a high intelligence behind that. That alone declares we have a Creator on our hand. We've got it there. So we see, yes, the Creator in His creation, and how much more He, that is Jesus, cares for mankind. How many of you believe that? How much more He cares for mankind? We'll show some pictures of a great temple where they're delivered by the thousands and how God has blessed the people in the last few years that we've had coming through here and bless their hearts. Listen to this in Psalms 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? One thing I have desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I might dwell in the house of the Lord for all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. How beautiful it is. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, and his secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me on a rock. I will not sink. Glory to God. You know, we end this uh, sermon on creation and in nature. God, a dynamic God in nature, I believe I titled that. And it is a dynamic God in nature. The Bible reveals that creation alone gives the evidence of a creator and a creative God. School children, always believe it like that in your heart, uh, and you'll never be sad about it. Amen. Because the other, to believe it any other way, will bring depression. It will bring oppression. It will bring sorrow and sadness. But to believe him in your heart, uh, the great creator, like David said, my heart, he said, it panteth like a heart to the brook after God. It's a beautiful scripture. And as the heart panteth after the water brook, so panteth my soul after God. So it is wonderful. And we have this. So on a rock, he ends it. And I believe that rock is the Lord Jesus Christ. Whether you're in your television audience or work, give your heart to God. Come on out here. You'll have the address on there in a moment. And worship the Lord where miracles and the power and reality. I believe people are looking for reality. Don't you believe that? I believe it with all of my heart and everything that's within me. We're ending the broadcast here, and I believe it's been a good one. Can you say amen? Let's shout the victory airs. We're going off the scene here. Glory to God. 
I believe it was great. I'd like to have all of that in there. See, we didn't have time to do all that I wanted to do. It would take an hour. And then you really get into some things there. i would be like motion picture that that's done there when they get through with that. How many of you enjoying this? Isn't that great? You can feel him. You can feel him in the audience. If this program has been a blessing to you and you would like to be part of this TV and world satellite ministry, write to Evangelist Neil Frisbee at the address on the screen, Post Office Box 20707, Phoenix, Arizona, 85036. Make sure to send a love offering to help us continue, and you'll be sent some faith and prophetic literature. Also, send your prayer requests. This has been a Capstone production from beautiful Phoenix, Arizona.